So it's Easter and we woke up and discovered that the Easter Bunny had come down the chimney because things like that happen in Washington. And so the girls got tickets to go see a, a cabaret show about the history of Seattle. And it's also a brunch. So we are all getting ready. Ava and Shelby went down to Starbucks to get some breakfast stuff. And then we're heading out to the city market to go see a show and see what's over there. We went down to the Sydney Market. Uh, it was really cool. They had amazing, huge bouquets of tulips, very springy, um, for like ten or fifteen dollars for giant bouquets. And there was a lot of um, kind of like crafts for sale and food vendors, donuts. Uh, we also saw kind of the most disgusting thing ever: a gum alley, like a whole alley full of chewing gum on the wall, which was crazy. next number uh, we think is a uh, historical reenactment, if you will, of what that inaugural day of the market looked like, yeah? Can make the 
with a happy friend Just singing, singing in the rain Oh, I dancing and singing So after we left the city market, we decided to walk down to Pioneer Square because it was one area we hadn't seen of the city yet. Uh, not really knowing what was down there other than a couple of parks to check out and some totem poles. So we went down that way. It was definitely uh, the old area of Seattle, kind of where the original settlement was. And they did have several totem poles. Long lost friend. Hi. Hi, you. How are you? <gasps> me? You mean me? <laughs> but also a lot of homeless folks. So um, almost immediately when we got into Pioneer Square, um, one person particularly I did notice was um, this guy. He looked like he had um, a jacket on from like Riverdale's Southside Serpents. Like that's what it looked like. And then I noticed, wow, he's, he's carrying a crowbar. And then I realized, oh no, he's not carrying a crowbar. He has a hook for a hand. So I turned to my mom and I was like, that guy has a hook for a hand. And she saw it too, so I'm not crazy. And everything there was closed because it's Easter today, I think. Uh, and we quickly kind of felt like, oh, we probably should head back. So we went up to 2nd Avenue and started heading back towards our neighborhood. And it started sprinkling, and then it started hailing on us. It's hailing. What are we doing? We're huddling underneath the Starbucks now, awning. First. Well, where are we going? We're trying to get home. <laughs> very cold and windy so we ducked into a coffee shop called Seattle Coffee Works and had a raspberry bar and a couple cups of coffee and then all of a sudden the sun came out and it was beautiful and we ventured on back home where we've been resting up and having a little snack and some reading time. Too thick 
I did not break it. What happened then? I pushed it too hard and the doorknob fell off.